It's live. Hey everyone, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Um, I'm very happy because today, as you can see, I finished the commission a few days ago and this is the fun part where I can wrap it up like a present and I can feel a little bit like Mama Christmas. So I'm trying you not to show <laughs> who it is. So I try to include also always a little note to say thank you, mostly something I wrote myself and of course the certificate of authenticity. Um, this will all go in the box, so I'll put it on the side for the moment. I found these little cuties. This is unfortunately my last one while on a trip in Germany and I, I really like those so I hope I can find some again and what I normally do is that I wrap the painting in um, silk paper so it's really nice protected don't roll it too tight so it's safe I signed it, I don't know if you can see it through the paper, I signed it on the back as well with the date when I made it and then I have a special, this special pink tape which I use which you can remove easily from any surface so that it stays, um, it doesn't damage the parcel or the painting or whatever and then I just fold in the the corners hi Alisa como esta? it's just fun to to wrap the the painting that you know that goes to the person um, it brings so much joy to be able to um, make someone happy like that and just to make it even nicer the plastic is for later it will go around the just during transport i'm always afraid that the, when it rains the painting might get damaged so i'm sometimes overpacking a little bit <laughs> but i just love doing that so let's put some ribbon around it with the little stars just to make it nice when the person receives it when people commission something they mostly do it as a gift to themselves so when we wrap up our art let me see what Elisa said molto bene Ah yes, packing is not so easy as it as we think it is. So I normally just put the, as I was saying, the the people that order a commission often do it as a gift to themselves because there is um, maybe they achieved something special in their lives or they want to mark an event. So I always try to make it uh, into a nice little gift. So that when they get it, it feels a little bit like Christmas for them. And um, let me see, this is a bit wobbly here. Voila, there, that's, that looks nicer. I just imagine how would I look like to receive the art, Elisa? How would I like to receive a package with the painting that I ordered that's special to me? And then I just wrap the parcel that way so that, you know, it's uh, safe, it arrives safely there. So then I have the plastic that goes around it so that when it rains or the carton box would get wet, it won't get damaged. Ah, this one is a bit small so I'll have to go out and buy a bigger one. And then normally what I do, I, I can buy these, um, let me swivel you up so I can really show you. There we go. 
Like we can buy these boxes at the post office for us and um, there are two parts I don't know if you can see it this is the bottom part and then the top I can just like fold it open and it will just slide over the bottom part it's very easy to do actually if it wants to cooperate there we go <laughs> And so I can actually um, adjust, let me sit back a little bit, so I can adjust the length. So if I would have a longer painting, if it wants to come out, I can make it actually very long and it's up to two meters. And the post office still sends it. So if we're this post, and I think maybe Italian post, they have the same system. So it's very easy. And then I just add padding inside. You just put the painting, close it, Put the extra little gifts in there and that's it actually so i always um, roll the certificate and put it in the plastic as well so it's like this and then i put it in the box and off it goes to its owner after i put on the address and everything and with the swiss post i'm uh, lucky because um they insure up to a thousand francs when the parcel is um, registered and it has a tracking number so let me see if you can see my face you can't <laughs> so i have a little setup i live in a small studio so i don't really have a nice packing table that's one of my goals and my dreams to have a, a nice big packing table at one point so with this I'm going to leave you, I need to go and buy a little bit more packing material and uh, I will see you very soon. Love you all, bye bye!